Yo, what's happening everybody? Welcome back to Pimp My PC. Now this is the show we try to teach you how to personalize, customize, trick out your PC, but above all make it cool. Now today we're going to continue our Windows 7 pimps and we're going to talk about some Windows 7 gadgets that you can download. So let's step into my office and get started guys. All right, so gadgets were released with Windows Vista and we know that they've been around sort of the iteration with Apple called widgets for a while. And uh, when Vista came out, they gave us gadgets, but uh, I mean, really, who got Vista? So uh, anyways, back to Windows 7. Those gadgets are back with, uh, back with a vengeance. I'm actually going to show you a few of my favorites and uh, show you where to grab some yourself. So uh, where you're going to find these is at the Microsoft website. Funny, right? But that's where you're going to grab them. So uh, I'm here at the personalization gallery. And this is the place where you can download themes, system sounds, and all that business. But today we're talking about gadgets. So if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see two sections here. There's desktop gadgets and there's sideshow gadgets. Now the sideshow gadget was definitely more of a Vista thing, but don't even sweat it. They work on Windows 7 as well. So either one of those, whatever you like, download and install it, you're good to go. Now as you're browsing the Microsoft site to find those gadgets, chances are you're going to find well, what I think they've been broken into three different categories. There's the technical, there's the fun, and then there's the really? You wasted some time building that? I mean, just completely useless. And I'll show you that in a second. Um, but now we'll show you uh, basically, and another thing too you're going to notice is some of the gadgets that I picked are uh, actually gadgets that help me uh, try to find pimps for you. So uh, you'll see a little bit of a, little bit of a uh, pattern going on there. So the first thing we're going to do is open up my uh, gadget gallery. And uh, so as, you will, as, as everybody knows, music is super, super important when you're doing any kind of work whatsoever. So the first thing I looked for was uh, some way to stream drum and bass while I'm looking for, uh, looking for those pimps. Now what I found was called bass drive. And uh, bass drive allows you to stream drum and bass. Now, if drum and bass isn't your thing, that's cool. There's hip hop stations, there's metal, and rock and or roll if you're into that as well. So basically, whatever music you're into, you can stream it from your desktop. Using the gadget. So I'll just play a little sample here for you guys. It's just that easy, man. Pretty cool, right? Now, another thing, too, you're going to notice as well is um, these gadgets, once you, uh, once you uh, open them, they will stay on the desktop once you close the gallery. So you don't actually have to keep your gallery open in order to keep that music playing. So that's a pretty cool feature as well. Uh, now, another thing uh, that I do is I look for a lot of uh, videos online as well, um, searching for, uh, for different mods and pimps and, uh, and basically OS tips, right, just to share with you guys. So now I can do that without the uh, need for a browser. I can do it right from this gadget. It's called Zapping Box, and it's pretty cool. So um, uh, I mentioned this before. I'm pretty stoked on the game, so we'll just stick with it. Uh, Unleash 2. So we'll see if we got any Unleash 2 trailers. It looks like I do. So as you can see, that just opens up the player, and that's going to start playing that YouTube video in my gadget. No browser necessary, and that's pretty cool. And now, uh, when I'm looking for those pimps, sometimes I get a little bored, and I need to uh, stave that off just for a couple of minutes, right? Now, the way I do that is with some of the games that the gadgets offer you. Maddie, I swear to God, dude, do not do that severely date thing, all right? Because everybody uh -oh. still loves Pong. I don't care. Can I play it on my PS3? Oh, my God. No, you can't, really. Um, no. <laughs> Pwned. All right, so there we go. So now you see I got my, uh, got my Pong up. Going to click Start. See if I can turn that one back. Booyah! That's right. Take that, Maddie. You didn't think I could do it. So there's, uh, there's my Pong. And uh, so as you can see, got some technical, got some fun. Now I'm going to show you that really useless one that I was talking about. Now if you've seen that movie, 2001, A Space Odyssey, you'll totally understand what I'm talking about here. But we've got the HAL 9000 gadget. Now what it does is spout random HAL 9000 quotes. And if you've seen the movie and you've ever done some work on a computer, we've all made the same, what are you doing, Dave, lame joke. Well, now this gadget will make the lame joke for you. So we're going to open it up. Click it. Later, Hal. But anyways, yeah, so not only useless, but a little bit annoying as well. So there's that. So now I'm going to take you from the useless gadget to a really useful gadget. This was really cool, guys. It's called Magic Folder. Now what it does is it allows you to uh, drag and drop files um, into this folder and it will put it into the appropriate folder based on the file extension. So if I pop a JPEG in there, it's going to put it into my picture folder. And uh, the other cool thing too is that you can actually specify the directory path yourself. So if you don't want it to go in the uh, standard folders, uh, you can do your own thing. Another cool feature too I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to grab a text file, I'm going to grab a JPEG, and I'm going to grab an MP3. And I'm going to drag all those over into my magic folder. It's going to do its thing thing. There you go. All the files have been put in their uh, selected destination. 
So I'm going to say OK. And then just to show you guys a little bit of the magic, I'm going to go to my picture folder. And uh, there it is, from my desktop right to the right folder with little to no effort from myself. And that's my Uncle Pete, my dear old dad. So those are some of my favorite uh, gadgets, guys. Um, make sure you hit me up at lucas at butterscotch.com and uh, send me some of the gadgets that you guys are running. And I challenge you to find one more useless than the HAL 9000. Go ahead, give it a shot. I dare you. Well, that's today's show, guys. Make sure you check out the show notes at butterscotch.com. And uh, remember, guys, Windows 7, we're pimping it out. I'm Lucas. You guys keep it unique. See ya.